Hey guys, what's up? Today we are creating another Fortnite miniature map. This is the agency. Play claim. This is the biggest Fortnite map I have ever created. Maybe you remember the volcano and we even made it erupt. And this one. This is what we are creating right now. It's even bigger than the volcano. The agency. Well, I wanted to just create the agency, but then I saw this beautiful waterfall and the bridge and the lake. And so it became bigger and bigger. And while I was flying <laughs> in overview mode in the replay, I knew that this would be really, really gigantic. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's get started with clay and working with this beautiful blueprint I have created. And I have even printed it out three times because, well, for now we are focusing on the landscape and I can just cut it out the way I need it to be. Then we will focus on the buildings it's not only the agency we will have some further buildings and then all the trees so this will be a huge project we are building right now and that's not all we will not only focus on this fortnite map no i have some exciting news the clay studio got hired to create an even bigger map and by bigger i mean like 20, 30 times this map, which will be insane. And this project means the world to me. Let me tell you more about it. It all started last year on the most crowded games event on Earth, Gamescom. I met the people behind the successful mobile RPG Summoner's War. Come to us celebrating Summoner's War's six-year anniversary this year and they remembered meeting me on Gamescom and what I was doing with Clay. Now they asked if we could create a gigantic miniature map in the studio of the Summoner's War world map for the celebrations. <laughs> Over the next weeks we'll be building a gigantic miniature map for Summoner's War's six-year anniversary here in the studio on this very table. The biggest clay artwork I have ever worked on with the help of the guys here in the studio. And we thought it would be great to keep you updated, take you on this creative journey and make a live stream every two weeks. I hope you will enjoy this gigantic miniature map adventure starting on May 27th here on the channel with a live stream. I can't tell you how excited I am about this huge project and to be quite honest I'm a little bit frightened because we have never gotten such a huge project to create, such a huge artwork to create and of course I want to um, produce a good entertaining video for you guys. I want the client to be happy and I want to have fun, the guys in the studio as well. So a lot of pressure, <laughs> um, I'm completely honest, but I am so, so thankful for the whole project and I can't wait until it really gets started with the live streams. And if you like, we could even play together during the live stream Summoner's War. I'll include a link down in the description, so check it out. We have already installed like five webcams for the live stream. And well, over the next days we will do some testings in the studio until it all works. <laughs> so, enough about this project. Yes, I am excited, but still we are building a Fortnite map. We are building the agency. And I wanted to thank all of you who asked to me to create this map. It took me nearly two weeks <laughs> to create this one. I wasn't creating each and every day, but the whole process took two weeks. 
And um, yeah, thanks a lot for your comments to create it. I enjoyed the whole process. I enjoyed creating the landscape, these streets like right now, <laughs> the mountains. Well, to be honest, I thought I'd use any kind of um, <laughs> crap clay I would not need anymore just to fill, fill out the mountains that they get some volume and I ended up using old clay, I ended up using grey clay on the places where you can see the rocks later and I used some um, aluminum foil, I'll show you that in a minute. This is the waterfall, this is the reason why the whole map got so huge, because I wanted this place to be part of the miniature map, because it just looks so beautiful. Not only the waterfall, we will create the, the bridge, the damaged bridge. <laughs> And yeah, so this is the highest part of the mountains and I will guide you through the process which I did. I am using grey clay for all the rock, rock details and then I'll take just a light filling material like the aluminum foil for example and while building I had my laptop on the left side with Fortnite running 12 hours straight each day for two weeks to get each and every mountain right, to get each and every path and street right. Well, maybe it just, it, it was not two weeks, but nearly two weeks, maybe one and a half weeks. <laughs> Something like that. Well, still incredible. And after finding the shape of the mountains, I started the coating process. You can see the green clay, which is normally a very thin layer. And I can tell you we are running out of clay. And hopefully I'll make it through, through the whole process. Let's put this aside because we will focus on the agency itself. And I was scared before I started. I have created buildings before, but when you look closely at the agency, you see all these multiple levels. You have four different floors. You have the, er the area which is going right into the lake and this is the lowest point and up to the highest building up to this huge tower with the opening and i can tell you it took me a while it took me a while to understand how this building is working and i was playing a lot fortnite lately so if you want to to add me and maybe we, we have the chance to play together. Just look for Clay Claim and you'll find me on Fortnite. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Back to the creation. We are adding some beautiful details to the very first level of the agency. These are some bushes. You know these when you're playing Fortnite and when you have been to this very spot. And um, this is some statues, stat statues, it's called statues, right? We will create them later because right now I'm just afraid I'll break them. We make an outline and we put this into the oven. <laughs> Freshly baked first layer, first level of the agency. And now that the, clay, the, the gray clay is hard, we can start filling out all the opening spaces with different colors. And we still have this sharp edge between the different colors. This is the entrance area. And the next building, part of the next building. I told you before, it's quite complicated. 
and it took me a while to figure out how this building, how this architectural structure is working. And this is the iconic shape of the smaller building. And we'll put it right on top. And this is the bigger building. Thankfully, I had another blueprint. <laughs> and it almost looks like a stadium from on top. <laughs> but that's, of course, that's not true. We will find our way into the shape and remove some parts to get in the details of, of the facade. And it looks quite nice. We put it in position. Then we have a tower on the right side with the entrance on top and this connection part with a plant underneath. <laughs> and we have the building on the left side also with a tiny tower as well and some stairs and another entrance and we all have these roofs so it was just crazy <laughs> another stature with a poor guy holding this gigantic globe and this turned out pretty well this is the famous let's call it famous symbol of the agency of course, I don't know if this is true, but it looks like similar to the logo, the logo which we'll find on the flag. We just added two trees also on the front. Um, I'm using a very, very thin wire for that. It's not the aluminum one, it's just regular wire. And then we have this opening inside the roof and ah, it, it felt somehow strange to not create also the inside so that you could look inside, but that would be just insane. Now, the building is finished. Let's put it into the oven. Freshly baked agency. It doesn't look like the agency, well, somehow, but of course we will add some more details to that. Um, <laughs> I think you will be surprised how we'll do that. But for now, we are working on the ground. This is our con construction site. <laughs> we'll remove some clay because the landscape um, also plays an important role for the building itself. It has to be the exact same height. Um, and the front, it's a little bit lower and the backside, it's a little bit higher. And now that the building is often hardened, we can start painting the roof, for example with gray and a beautiful outline with silver. Oh, look at that. We'll get there. Maybe we can make the statues a little bit more shiny. Whoa. And we can place it on the little island. I'm so curious while creating what could happen as um, a live event. <laughs> I remember the good old times with Loot Lake and maybe you remember these live events as well when you played Fortnite since then and um, <laughs> with the liquid soap I was playing around that was a beautiful video <laughs> so this is this is the boat launch area and we will even create a tiny tiny boat and the helicopter of course another architectural piece of decoration i'm not sure maybe this has a special word <laughs> not sure about that and some more railings as well and this will be another spot for a flag and then we have another boat launching spot on the back side and this will be the platform for the helicopter it was quite useful to have the blueprint again 
and the stairs to the platform as well. I love that spot. In the game I used to fly around the island to, to get an overview and to understand the mountains and even the agency itself from the air. And then we have these bunkers. Well, what is that? Can someone please explain to me what the function is of these bunkers inside the lake? Because, well, I flew in and the replay and there is nothing. There has to be some kind of a secret tunnel. That would be amazing. I'd love that. I, I'd really love that. Well, this is the beautiful hut in the forest on the left side with a red roof and a chimney and we'll create that as well. Just threw in some silver clay to make it a little bit shiny and this is the spot where it is going. Okay, it already looks so idyllic. <laughs> And then we have this very eager lumberjack building huts everywhere <laughs> uh, in the mountains. And I think we have another one right there. Oh, look at that. With a white roof and this beautiful bridge. Well, I could have gone mad <laughs> and I could have spent hours and hours on the next neighborhood, on the next buildings. But somehow I decided that the center of this map, the agency, would take all my focus and I didn't want to spend another few hours on all the details on the edge. So this is why the bridge looks the way it looks right now. I think I could have made it better. Also, same goes for this neighborhood for the buildings but I can tell you again I wanted to focus on the agency itself and to work on all the beautiful details and the bridge for example this is the second bridge we are creating this is the wooden one in the canyon right in front of the waterfall and I really love that spot not only in the game but also in this artwork and the bridge is broken. <laughs> okay, it looks quite nice. This will be the wooden structure underneath and I think it will look quite nice. This is the caravan with a lot of loot onto it with golden clay and then we take some red clay for, you can guess it, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know what this will be. It's the helicopter and some of you were quite disappointed that I did not attach a helicopter, that I did not put a helicopter into the shark island. And I think the main reason is when I was playing, when I was inside the replay someone had already stolen the helicopter and this was why I was not thinking about it so it's just um, a stupid excuse <laughs> but this time I wanted to include him also this beautiful vehicle <laughs> which is um, on the ground of the agency and then we have another truck we will add on the street and we will glue all these details onto our miniature map after oven hardening and it will look quite nice maybe someday I find a way to create <laughs> some skins uh, in this scale on such a small scale that would be amazing to see some tiny just imagine some tiny tiny people running around on this miniature map oh maybe I can get in some ants <laughs> ah, well during all my map tutorials I created trees in different ways I used different materials but this is the technique I like the most 
It is made out of clay, well, except for the trunks I made just with the wire. We have some beautiful flowers on the ground, yellow flowers. I'm just setting these. And I'm quite happy with these trees. We have a very thin trunk, we can create pine trees, we can create all the leaf trees as well. And this is the wire, it's really, really thin. And we can even paint it for the birch. And we will also add some really, really colorful orange and maybe a little bit of yellow into the leaves of the birch. Here we go, adding it on top. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Well, still quite colorful. I'm not sure if it is too colorful compared to the gameplay, but after oven hardening, somehow the colors, well, they don't really fade, but they lose a little bit this strong, shiny effect they have, especially the green. I used for the grass and that's okay um, I can work with that it took me a while to figure out how all the different clay colors are changing while often hardening and most of the colors are not changing a lot but this bright green is one exception <laughs> it gets a little bit darker well not so much but still it's a difference this is the, the liquid clay and finally we also have the huge bottles in the online store clayclaim.com if you want your hands on one of these bottles it's quite funny to work with in almost every creation i guess and we are ready to go into the oven Freshly baked landscape around the agency. Yeah, that's the official name of what we are creating right now. We can remove the barriers. I just stick some clay there that the liquid clay would not flow away. And this is the transparent polish to make the liquid clay really transparent and I love this process. It's so satisfying because after drying it really looks like water. And now let's take this white pen. I need a thinner white pen and I haven't found any since yet. Maybe some of you know or have an alternative for me where to get a very very thin white pen that would be quite helpful. I'd appreciate that. Now that we place the helicopter, we also have this truck and we will glue it onto the street. And then we have another truck and the bridge. And we will glue that over. <laughs> and I was so looking forward to that moment when the ants are able to walk over. No, it's not going to happen. So with this white pen we can add some water bubbles on the water and we have these water fountains inside the lake. I made sure that these are the right spots. And this is the last working step. We are adding the flags, not only the, the blue ones, okay, this is the bigger one. We have the trousers, Deadpool's trousers. I could not believe it until I saw it. Go check it out in the game, if you don't believe me. <laughs> and with the silver pen, we finish our artwork. Guys, that's it! The agency and the landscape round! This is such an incredible, huge map piece of Fortnite. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am so excited about the Summoner's War six year anniversary. Stay tuned about the live streams and our project we are doing right there. Have a great weekend and take care guys, bye. Okay, 
Where is the secret tunnel? The tunnel! Guys, I just wanted to say thank you for all your support, for your likes, your comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay healthy, stay creative.